And while civilian militias arm themselves to defend the U.S. borders, there's another mildly intimidating menace currently under development by the U.S. Department of Defense's Advanced Research Project Agency. All right, so think back, way back, about 20 years to the days when RoboCop and The Terminator 2 came out and the human cyborg version of Arnold Schwarzenegger filled the movie screens. A future with robots that seemed so realistic and human-like, but were almost too fantastic to imagine. Well, that distant future might be closer than you would guess. Meet Petman, a two-legged humanoid robot that can do it all. He can walk upstairs and run on a treadmill faster than most humans can. It has all of the physical dexterity of its organic creators, yet expresses none of the fat fatigue a normal human would, would while running. And that's not all this bad boy can do. It can climb, carry heavy loads, do push-ups, crawl, and even balance itself to withstand heavy kicks and attempts to knock it over. Are you impressed yet? Well, it can also do all of this during exposure to chemical warfare agents. If all of this isn't creepy enough, the humanoid robot can actually imitate sweating using temperature and humidity controls. Now, chances are this super robot won't be hitting the battlefields in the near future. However, it does add a very complex layer to the direction war has taken in recent decades. As we all know, war has transformed through the years. Gone are the days of soldiers fighting in the trenches. For the past decade, there's been a public debate over the use of unmanned aerial vehicles to kill enemy combatants. And now, possibly sooner than any of us would have imagined, we could be sending humanoids out to do our dirty work, taking lives but risking none of our own. And while I cannot guarantee you how soon or whether this will happen, I can promise you this. When it does, and if it does, there will be a lot of debate, discourse, and even criticism over whether this type of warfare is necessary and why.